Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again, or for the very first time, to the Farts and Crap Show. Uh, today is more Gradius, or Gradius, or Gradius? I don't know. I've, I've heard this. I've heard it been pronounced so many ways. Um, I've always said Gradius. It's uh, Gradius 3, specifically the Arcade Archives version of the game. Uh, which I definitely see why they made the changes that they did for the Super Nintendo release. Because uh, I can only imagine how much some kids, like the kids that actually beat this game, the arcade version, like how much they spent on the, the machine, <laughs> you know, to actually get through the game. Um, it seems far from reasonable at this point. Um, and this is a very... Seems to be a very good version of the game, like as far as um, accuracy and all that stuff goes. Uh, I believe there was also a TurboGrafx-16 version, but I'm not sure if that one was any good. I... I really wish the Wii Shop channel was around like a little bit longer than what it was because there was the Gradius Rebirth game uh, that has yet to be re-released in any form. Um, it was one of the better WiiWare games. Um, and actually just the Rebirth series was really cool uh, that Konami did for the Wii. Uh, I do have Castlevania Rebirth. That one was a little bit higher on my bucket list than the Gradius one. Um, but there's actually been quite a few Gradius games, uh, some of which never really left Japan. Um, like, I recently checked out some footage, actually just before starting this video, uh, I checked out a little bit of footage of Gradius 4, which was a game like I'd never seen on shelves um, or at all, I think. It might have been on the Gradius collection, actually, for the PSP. Um, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it was on the PlayStation 2, so probably not. Uh, but Gradius 4 and 5 were in, like, a collection as well that did not see a North American release. Um, but Gradius 5 did, by itself, which was kind of weird. And I was never a big fan of how they did the, like, uh, transition to 3D. I feel like it should have always been a 2D sprite-based game. Uh, just, you know, with more accurate hitboxes and stuff, instead of making it, like, Oh, is this something I can shoot? Is this something that will damage me? Like, what's... You know. And then trial and error, and blah, 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 blah. Anyway. As far as the unsung heroes of the space shooter genre, I guess. I mean, Gradius is still my favorite. Um, there are a few games in the series I might eventually go back to. Uh, I might do a series for it. I'm not sure. It kind of depends. Um, I mean, this series hasn't, like, you know, done super well, but um, I don't know. Something more obscure and more niche might actually do better. Because, um, I mean, like, yeah, Gradius 3 with how popular it was, you know. Uh, Gradius Gaiden, however is one of, I think, the best entries in the entire series. And uh, also, similarly, I don't think has been re-released at any point, but I do have a way to record that one. Um, so I might do a Gradius Guide and play through at some point. Uh, it was on the PS1, and uh, it's, it's really fun. And it's a very good-looking, a very good-sounding game. 
Uh, I did play Gradius Five for the PS2 back in the day. I wasn't a big fan. And I did have a copy of the Gradius Collection on the PlayStation Portable. Um, I, I don't have it anymore. And I don't even have a good way to play it. Unfortunately, I don't think... Ooh, actually, that would be something worth finding out. Uh, I, I know it's not on the Vita store on the PSTV, but it actually might be compatible with the PSTV. And if it is, that would be a way I could do it. Um, so I keep it bookmarked, the PSTV compatibility guide, so I will just search and for, nope, not a single Gradius game is playable on the PSTV. Uh, Grandia is though. That's uh, that's on my short list. The first Grandia that is, because I've never actually played that one. Erm. Cool. Anyway, let's get fucking started. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, I have made a little bit of progress off screen. So I do apologize. There was a tricky section with those where I died, where I was dying at the end of the last one. Um, so I got to this seems to be a boss rush kind of area. So and I don't know how much of the game is left. I might actually this might be a very short episode where I'm actually at the end of the game. I don't know. I highly doubt it. Um, but, I mean, that's kind of typical Konami fashion, especially in, like, the early 90s, um, was to have a boss rush at the end of the game, so maybe. I don't know. But yeah, and I will try to keep the cursing to a minimum. Create interrupt save day. Yeah, do that. It's been a while since I've recorded this too, so. I really want to get my shield back. Please let me get it. Oh. I remember this shit. Interrupt save eight. Yep. I can't believe I did that on my first try. I was um. So when I was playing off screen, making a little bit of progress, um, I actually got to that point a couple of times. Uh, to that boss, and I kept dying, to like the missile arrays because I couldn't figure out like the pattern and stuff, and then my muscle memory just kicked in, and I was like, oh, okay. Yes, I did learn. <laughs> ah. 
Alright, whoa. Seems better just to get out of the way and let the options do the work. Fucking wrecked, scrub. Ooh, dude, I was not ready for that slowdown to stop. <sighs> How many mini bosses in a row are they gonna give me? Shouldn't have tried to cross, just stay above it. Okay, I got it. Yes. I was like ten seconds of nothing. <laughs> so yes. Oh my goodness, dude, what the fuck? Oh what whoa, whoa. whoa. Say what? Whoa. 
Yeah, that seems to be it. Mm, whoa. Damn. Okay, the music's different. Oh shit, what the what? Okay, and just, I just want to say, between this and the previous episode, um, I've completely lost track, and just like, even just in this episode, I've completely lost track. Let me know in the comments, like, after we get through this boss rush, which I'm assuming this is the last guy, because the music actually changes, how many bosses in a row they throw at you. Come on. Are you serious? Like, oh, you thought the boss music meant that was the boss. Psych. Uh, yeah, cringe. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? What? Oh. What? Huh? Oh, this is all open. Oh. The fuck, Konami? What the hell is your problem? Oh, yes. Give me that. Oh, shit. Oh. Speed up. You have got to be fucking kidding me. So there's not even a checkpoint right there. There's not even a checkpoint for after you get through the boss rush. It's like, no, beginning of the stage, you got to get through all the stupid enemy formations and all the bosses and then this other section is like what the fuck konami why are you guys such dicks a single stray bullet grant also I'm not sure how he avoided all of the uh, missiles Or where the hell he is this time.
Yeah, what the fuck? Half the bullets coming at me. That is such horseshit. The fact that you're supposed to dive into this crater, which. Let's be real. If I didn't have missiles that go down, which I guess most of the missiles do, but if I didn't have missiles, like, there would be no indication that's where you go. How did I do that so perfectly? Look. Sorry, just recreated it, Andrew. What the fuck? the shield. I mean, yes, having another option would be great. Like only, what, three? Four would be awesome? Sometimes two enemies down here, and sometimes there isn't. How? That enemy wasn't even on screen yet. I was firing at him like in a constant stream. How do you even get a fire off unless they can fire from off screen? Did I just screw myself? Like, did I pick the hardest mode?
above the force field about now. I can't I can't do that fast enough. side yet. It's just the AI is like, it's perfect. They don't miss. They don't like, have any error at all. It's like, dude, this is not cool. You can just get absolutely fucked. As I was saying, I'm not even sure this is like doable with my current like loadout. See, this is why I did a little bit off screen. like I was okay. Pick up. It's like maybe keep the options up top, but that doesn't it doesn't work. You have to like be in front of it. foreground is really starting to piss me off.
keep thinking, like, if I just get that RNG, if I, if I have it close enough, you know? Dying to invisible bullets is, like, the fucking worst. to say I know it's doable, but I really don't. This was the era of video games that were literally unbeatable. That was going so well too, I just can't... The biggest problem with this weapon loadout that I chose is I can't shoot up. Like, things below me get decimated. If I had a force field, things would be okay. Whoa, shit. The what the fuck? Oh yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, dude, if I can... Okay, if I can replicate that, and then, like, push through there in three, right? One, two, three, yeah, in three I'll get a force field. And there are three in there. And there was one out here, I don't know what the fuck happened to it, but... Um, yeah, if I can replicate that... Big, ah, motherfucker, damn it, that was the best one so far, too. I'm not sure if I hit a wall or if I get a stray bullet, but fucking damn it, that's getting old. I'm going too low. I think that's right. Roughly. Whoa. Oh, no. Uh, maybe? Oh, yes. Get it. Yes! Oh, my goodness. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Fuck. I've never made it that far, though. Adjustments is just like 
impossible when not impossible, sorry. Ah, I thought it was alright, but never mind. I think that's the ticket. Can we go a little bit lower? Yeah. No. Oh, no, no, no. Mm, that was good, though. That was really good. Why did those enemies, like, never come back? That's so weird. so perfectly timed with the music too it was just like da 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 you're dead <laughs> see if i'm not low enough to the floor then that first one that pops up and the thing just kills me Every time. I think that's good. Yeah. Fuck. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. It's like forward or back, forward or back, and I should have gone back. That's too low? No, that's not too low. Is it? No, it's not. Okay. King damn it. That's too low? Yes it was, okay. Is that a glitch? That was not a good gambit. if I should. Uh, part of me really wants to, though. I think I'm okay for a minute. I 
There's not like a second save state slot, so. Okay. Ah, I see the problem. sure we're in the clear now. You know what? Whoa. I already dealt with the ice cubes of death. Ah. Why do I always jinx myself? <sighs> Alright guys. Well, we're out of time for now. But I'm making progress. This is happening, all right? This game is getting beaten. Then I'm gonna take a get, copy the link to this playlist, send it to Konami, email them, be like, why are you guys such assholes? Uh, I'm assuming the new mode is probably easier and more reasonable. Um, Asian version. I have no idea what the difference is there, so I don't know. Maybe after I actually beat the original, original mode, the old original mode, um, I'll take a look at those and let you guys know or whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Greatly appreciate it, and a very special thank you to our T Facts channel members, Retro HD and Old Cranky Gamer and Novellus Draconis. Thank you guys very much for uh, checking out that join button, choosing to support the show a bit more directly. It really helps out. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Many blessings on your journey, whatever that might be. And until next time, take care. <laughs>